Somebody left me in there, dropping me in there. I didn't know there were monkeys in there. I had no idea. Uh, until when I peer, and they were about eight, ten. I couldn't count too so much because I was really young, so I only count about eight or something. I can't remember exactly, but there were more than that. And there was one of them came and pushed me with your finger to check. Uh, I don't know, maybe they check you, but there were other monkeys with him. I was a little bit scared because I just rolled myself into the ball backwards and uh, I was very upset, very weepy. I had bad days, not eating. I was feeling weak and I couldn't be bothered whatever they were going to do. But then eventually, because I didn't do anything, they decided to leave me. They got bored with me. And how did you survive all this time? Was it five years probably in the jungle just with I guess five years, but we you don't, don't know. know exactly. How long was your hair really? at the end of it? Point to where my your hair, hair was been. covered up nearly my knees, you know, yeah. not quite, but that was my, my dress. Yeah. Because I don't know what happened to my clothes. Yeah. I can't remember what happened to my... Biscuits. So you were naked except for your hair, which was your covering. Yeah. They, uh, they do get food from somewhere that I didn't know, but... They brought handfuls of fruits and because they bring so much, they always drop something on the way. And that was my opportunity. Grab it, eat it faster. Because if you don't eat it faster, there was a monkey behind, take your things away. And what's, I know you have a noise that you kind of learnt the language. Uh, I know that's a simplistic way of putting it, but when there was an urgent warning for to a warning, a what was that noise? It's a, that's the a danger. Screeching noise. I want to hear that's the screech really if that's loud. possible. A cringe. Ah! Oh, God. That's it. terrifying. It One more time. from the prop. Ah! So it goes, ow! Now, eventually, you escaped after four or five years. You had a very traumatic life, didn't you? You went to I live did. in a brothel. Yeah. You were enslaved in Colombia. Then you were on the streets stealing. I was slave because of the food. You yeah. see, there was plenty of food, and you become yeah. a slave because of that, yeah. because you want to be fed. But eventually you were rescued and ended up in Bradford. Yes. How was, did your experience change you as a mother? Dramatically, because that teach me to become a good mother as the years pass by. I learned experience in the streets. I learned that living wisely is better than making a bad choice. If you make a bad choice in your life when you're in a bad way, then you make it worse, so there's just no point. It yeah. also made you incredibly strong. Can we look at, if we look at Marina's arms, she, as you can see, she's a rather slight woman, but she's got incredibly I'm skinny, but I got a lot of sinewy, muscular. strong <laughs> arms. Is yeah. it, how does that relate to living in the jungle? I and the think monkeys? it's because when you grab the tree and then you run for food and you run for fear, you run to whatever going on, you just have to keep eyes open and go with it. If you design for the food, you run for it. Are you tempted to climb that? I have been tempted, but I like to be in private and with my grandchildren. It's true, you're, sli <laughs> you're, you're slightly embarrassed about it, aren't you? I, you I am still embarrassed because sometimes people tend to look at you in a very peculiar way. And I, I try to do my best to be yeah. as, as a person, you know. Can you understand uh, why people do look at you at times in a slightly I, strange Because way. they criticise the way I walk. They used to. No, I don't walk like that. But they used to criticize the way I walk. And they used to say, I recognize you, you because walk. the way you walk. And how I do don't you know walk? What, I know how you I don't you, know what's the way dance, to walk. You dance walk, don't well, you? Well, I do. I jump. <laughs> you jump. <laughs> but I am better. You know, I had some glamorous uh, sitting down and standing up. I used to watch this, how they do it. Uh, just, uh, it's not. So it you've worked on becoming I normal. I work it out. Yeah. It took me a long time. It's very hard learning. And so Not why did you decide in the end to write the book? Ah, uh, it was persuasive daughter, you know, she said we it's got to be written because she said oh my grandchildren. But then I thought, but my grandchildren might get bullied at school. And she don't think so. And you what know, what so. do you think about obviously it's such a fantastic story that some <laughs> people have story. <laughs> some people already say, No, that can't have happened. No. It's, it's happened your memory. so many things. You know, if you look at all the children around the world who was in the street, you you listen to those stories of their lives and you don't think anything about yours. 
you don't, you know, you don't think about writing or keeping records or anything because you don't think anything about your, your life. Well, that's, I, a, that's how I think. So in a way, you thought that your story with the monkeys wasn't as remarkable as some of the no, kids you I met on the these streets kids, in Colombia. Yes, they are horrendous things they've gone through. So I really consider myself lucky and be grateful I'm alive.